under the, the previous vendor, STL, we were buying one verification device for $917 a piece. So these are, this is what the competition and the open process has produced. It has ensured prudence in the use of the public purse. We are aware that many people, there are lots of lies going on about the cost of the procurement. You hear some people saying commission, the commission is spending $150 million to procure kits. Other times they say we are spending $300 million to procure kits. I did the calculations when I was coming and at the right time the documents will be produced. For the kits that we are buying today, we are spending for all the kits, both verification and uh, registration kits, we are spending $54 million for the kits. For the data center, we are spending $6 million. And for the software, we are spending $4 million. So for the whole system, the commission is spending some $64 million. And if you look at this, this is the cost of refurbishing, which would have taken us just past registration for the district level election of 2019. We were going to pay $56 million. Here we are building a robust system that will last the commission some 10 years and beyond. Registers are usually have been used in the past for eight years. So the argument that you cannot change it before 10 years is, is also flawed. And again, that is not to say that, oh, because it's been changed every eight years, we also have come in, we want to change it. No, it is just to ensure the credibility, to introduce the function of facial recognition. We recognize that in, in particularly the rural areas, the rural parts of Ghana, you find that people who are used to manual and communal labor may have lost the use of their fingerprints. And you, you know, the whole essence, we should, we, should, we should lay aside the biometric if we cannot implement it to the letter. And therefore, the whole essence is to introduce the facial feature so that if you go and your fingerprints you know, cannot be verified, or you have lost the use of your fingerprints, at least you can be verified using your facial features. And so there's some credibility. And I think that it is in the interest of the parties. They should be happy that nobody should be able to manipulate the system. And that's basically what we are trying to do, to introduce some, and tighten the system, tighten the screws, and introduce some credibility, further credibility into our system and into the register.